Hi, welcome to the Whiskey Row Aid Station. This is the best aid station on the course. It's cool because it's here in downtown Prescott. You can see the street is lined with vans this morning. A lot of people are sleeping in their vans or they could be sleeping over here in our sleep station. And we just fired up some oatmeal. Thank you. Good. Last night was awesome. It was a lot of fun. Just love being here, helping the runners as they come in and doing our part. We are serving all sorts of pizza. Uh, we have like a rigatoni soup, sandwiches, quesadillas, snacks, all sorts of food. It's awesome, actually. Well, it was kind of surreal. Like I know a lot of other runners are out there, but I was alone a lot. And I saw a fox and a mouse. <laughs> but no, no, not yet. It was really good, and I recommend it. Grab, grab, grab a get yeah. right out of our thing. You have a good night? Actually not bad. No major lows, and it wasn't too terribly cold. <laughs> so, overall, it's pretty so good day. There's a black guy. So. Silver, of course. <laughs> Describe the glass of course the tour has here. I need the keys to the table. Um, I mean, the high, or what are they called, like, the King's Highway. That section's, you know, really nice, and I, I was moving at a really good clip. And then uh, the, uh, yeah, the section up to Camp Kippa, though, it's a little brutal, you know. But uh, overall, not not bad. Got it done. One step in front of the other, so. How was last night for you? Oh. <laughs> Is it not last night still? Um, the sun's up. Shit, it was good. Um, I slept a little. Standing up, feel better this morning. This is my friend Jim. From Flagstaff? Yes, yeah, we we're are. Yeah, we're from Flagstaff. Headed home. What'd you have to eat? Pizza. Gummy bears, chocolate milk. Did you get any sleep? Nope. Didn't attempt it. Where are you from? Uh, Ontario, Canada. We all just stuck together and shared some laughs and asked why we do this sort of ridiculous things. And, <laughs> and we went our separate ways. And then I took a little nap, and now here I am. I, I, I think I'm doing about a six minute mile right now, so I'm impressed <laughs> you can keep up. <laughs> why do you do this? Oh, well, this is the longest I've, I've, I'll ever run in one go. And I'm doing a fundraiser for the SEAL Family Foundation which is my primary purpose. But I also want to challenge myself and see how far I can go. So hopefully I'll make it and not die. But if I do, it's been real. Where are you from? New Hampshire. Enjoying yourself? Yeah. Yeah. I just got on the course myself, so yeah, I'm having a great time. I'm happy to be back at Coco Payson. Last year, um, I hiked the Arizona Trail, and then afterwards I watched Josh Perry run and um, was kind of following him along. So that kind of inspired me to give it a shot this year. I tried at Camp Kippa but I couldn't quite fall asleep but I did wake up moving better and feeling better so or not wake up but get up and lay there for about 45 minutes. It was a nice uh, sleep station. My stomach kept growling and waking me up. <laughs> I couldn't go to sleep over my stomach growling. What's your plan for this next section? She's going to drag me along. And, uh, we're just going to get warmed up here and hopefully shuffle along. 
We're locals, so we're not going to get lost. <laughs> and get up to Mangus, hopefully, before dark. Meet my next pacer. I'm gonna try to sleep up there. Well, I just woke up from a nap, so just trying to get moving again. This is running, right? How long was your nap? 40. 40 minutes, but I spent most of it just shivering. <laughs> so, I don't know how long I actually slept. Maybe a solid 10 minutes. Before my nap, I had a large bowl of mashed potatoes. Good breakfast? Yeah. With a really big slab of butter on it. Some guy at one of the aid stations said to me last night, can I ask you a question? At what point did you decide that five Ks wasn't enough? Ks. I said, I don't know. I hiked the PCT and they told me that after you do that, you become an ultra runner. And I said, yeah, whatever. And here I am. <laughs> it was rough. No so. Spent the whole night trying to put the pieces together from the devastation of the Lean Mountain climb and Crown King. That was that was tough. Someone stole some water from the race, and so we only got 500 milliliters instead of a liter for eight miles. And so a lot of people had to improvise. And so, uh, so yeah, when you get that dehydrated, it takes time for your body to come back online. But uh, it seems like we're all figuring it out. That's what Ultra is all about, right? Getting thrown curveballs and finding a way around things. So we're feeling a lot better day two. Uh, super excited to head out and see if we can get a finish. <laughs> oh, she's looking great, man. You look great too. I'm just the arm candy dude, remember that. <laughs> How do you feel? Pretty good, I think. The scope of the mission feels really big right now. So we'll just keep taking a little <laughs> section at a time, right? Get some sleep soon and we'll make it work. How's it going? Thank you. Thanks, man. We'll tone it down a bit. Really good. <laughs> How you doing? Good. You must have gotten sleep. 45 minutes on the dot. Really great though. Eight hours. <laughs> Nobody asked you. <laughs> You're not supposed to say that. <laughs> All right, enjoy. How are you doing, pal? I feel pretty good. I feel like I just did like 79 miles, but yeah. You might have. Just out here trying to look sexy. It's a good attitude. Yeah. It's a good metric. Yeah. Is it working? I'll let, I'll let the audience decide. All right. Looking forward to today? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Where are you from? I'm from Springfield, Ohio. How's the mountains shooting you? Oh, this is uh, quite the surprise. I don't know that the uh, mountains were so bad. Uh, it's just the all that loose rock. I, there's nothing like that in Springfield to train on. It's just so technical that first section yeah. really rolled my ankle like five times I was, uh, was not expecting that but they weren't kidding first 30 miles no joke yeah you have a great day <laughs> I think I might have gotten some so you down for quite some time um, I was kind of dreaming <laughs> while still being awake <laughs> but, but yeah 